Hi, it's as you saw, I'm here with the last part of the uh, patio door uh, magnet uh, slash uh, patio window uh, little uh, ladybug. Okay, uh, I realized that I forgot um, a very important detail with the last time when I showed you how to start with a glass bead, which is correct. Okay, start with a glass bead and then you're gonna you're gonna glue I forgot to show you how to put the little legs on, which is very important, okay? So first, glue a little dab, of, a little circle of cardboard, because that's going to help to glue your legs on. Otherwise, they're going to come off with the, con the contact of the, uh, the glass and the uh, wire doesn't seem to work very well. So I've decided to use an extra layer of cardboard, which will help it. Okay, and don't worry if it shows because you can always cut that out. Okay, so then to make the little legs, all you have to do is cut uh, four, three actually, uh, three uh, 24 gauge wire, okay, about two and a half inches long, and you're just gonna crisscross them on top of each other this is way too long to start with but we're going to cut it as we go along so crisscross them on top of each other so you're going to have six in all and the last one is going to be the longest one which is going to be the one for the the bead the head okay so a little dab of glue generous amount so that you want all your legs to stay together now for this one uh, for the uh, the head you want to make a little curve because the others are supporting each other but this one sits alone so you want something to adhere to something that will grab the glue so just make a little circle as I usually do like this and again this is way too long but it doesn't matter so I'm going to once more some more glue and then a second uh, little piece of cardboard so that everything is sandwiched in between each other and it's not going anywhere so let me just get another glue stick of course I run out isn't that always the way okay so, okay, now, second coat, second uh, piece of cardboard, press it onto the first one, so everything is sandwiched together, and don't worry about the excess glue and the excess cardboard at this point, because it's all going to be cut to size, you won't see all that. We're going to take all that extra out. So that's it for the legs. Okay. We got this part, which is the, the longest, the biggest one. Okay. This is the kind of bead that I'm using. It's going to be inserted into the longest wire like this and you're going to insert some glue between here and here where the uh, glass bead is and where the head is so it's going to stay together okay uh, eventually you're going to curve the little legs but before you do you, you're going to paint them okay you're going to paint them with some acrylic uh paint black of course but before you do that even you're going to put a little a coat of podge and let it sit overnight because that's going to stick uh, the uh the acrylic paint so if you have to do it two or three times do that it's better it's worth it it's going to stay okay 
So this is what it's going to look like before it's uh, before the little legs are. I have another one that's prepared here. Okay, so I have put two pieces of cardboard like the first one. Okay, so this one is going to go like this. Okay, so you're going to insert some glue here between the end of your long wire and where your head is going to go the bead okay like this let it set a bit and then that's when you're going to take your little glittery paper and you're going to hide all that now the little glittery paper comes in a few colors but it does not come in orangey like i was expecting to so it comes in sort of yellowy and so the gold one i think i thought it was the best one okay so you're going to cut yourself a circle and that means that everything is going to be hidden all that mess And again, don't worry if this sticks out because it's not going to show. Because you're going to be able to cut it. And you're going to do two pieces of these because uh, the first one sort of absorbs the glue. And because it's very thin, so you want to use two pieces. So that should do it. So cut yourself another piece. Let me check what how I'm doing for time because this always throws me. Okay, so two pieces of this glittery stuff, which I bought at the Dollarama. It comes at, uh, I think it's two or three sheets for a couple of dollars, so it's not very expensive. And I wish it did come in this orangey color for the um, but it doesn't, so this is the best I could find. Okay, so this is basically to hide all the mess. How are we for time? We are at seven minutes. That's good. Okay. Eight minutes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna really watch it, and if I see that I'm getting close to fifteen, then I'll do the very, very last part, which is gonna just gonna say hello, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, that kind of stuff. So the first. First layer, second layer that hides all that stuff. Okay, so it's finished. It looks finished. Doesn't you, you can't see all the work you did. Let me get this all out of the way. Okay. So, at this point is when you're going to paint your uh, little ladybug, your little legs, with the podge and the acrylic and let it set because one's going to stick to the other. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to curve your little legs like this. Okay, and I've already shown you how to paint uh, the, uh, the body with the orange paint and then the the black uh, dots and then the last but not least coat of puzzle saver to seal it and make it shiny okay so that's your little ladybug now what you're going to do is of course you've left yourself the circle here the longest one 
and this is going to be to tie onto the patio door. Okay, so what you're going to do is I have my little leaf here, and I'm going to put it through. I punched a hole in the leaf, and I've used uh, leaves that come at the Dollarama. Their decorations are pretty realistic, so I tried to use the real ones, but it's no good because uh, you can't get two leaves that are exactly the same, and you want it to show back and front. So I decided to use these two leaves. Okay, so I'm going to try to insert. This is sometimes working with this is not easy because you can't see, really see it. It disappears on you. end of it. Okay, so I'm going to put my two pieces. Just all you have to do is punch a hole with a hole punch, that's it. Okay, so that's one going through. That's the second one going through. I hope. Okay, so then you got your little little ladybug sitting on your leaf. Very cute. Now the way to secure it is I'm going to put it down because it's easier to work with. I'm going to insert one of the elastics. Same same concept as I did with the spiders. Okay, go right through the, uh, the netting. Second one, right through the netting. Again, let me just check my time. 12 minutes. Okay, so we are getting pretty close to. Okay, so now you've got this. Okay, so to secure it, like I said, like I told you, all you have to do is get a really big bead and insert it in the back, the two pieces. And if I don't have time to finalize this, the last video is going to be very, very short. It's just basically to show you the finished product. Because I don't want to, I don't want to just leave you hanging. I'm at 13. So I have about two minutes left. So at this point, I am going to come back with about a two minute video just to show you what it looks like because otherwise I will get cut off and I won't even have time to say goodbye. Okay, so uh, for now, um, I'm going to upload this and I'll be back in about, oh, I would say half an hour and it's all going to be done. Okay, Giselle signing out for my craft room for now. Thank you.